More than 100 Pinellas County elementary students were honored at the Dunedin Fine Arts Center for their artworks, selected for the Creative Start Elementary School exhibit. Todd Still is the center's youth education director. Uh, this shows the elementary school um, exhibits, um, which we do two of. The name of this one's called Creative Start. Um, the middle school exhibit is called Taking Shape and the high school exhibit is called New Perspectives. Over the years, uh, Sue Castleman had always approached us about hosting um, youth exhibits, but we never had the space. So when we had this expansion in 2010, we have this now a dedicated youth gallery. So we started that up, which Jonathan Ogle has now continued that partnership. We do two elementary school exhibits with the county. It's schools N through Z and then A through M, which is what's right now A through M. We do a high school exhibit, and then we do a middle school exhibit. Then we do a City of Dunedin schools exhibit, and then after summer camp, we do a summer camp exhibit. It's countywide for the most part. The only one that's pretty focused on Dunedin is one exhibit. The rest of them usually showcase about 23 to 25 different uh, Pinellas County uh, schools. Basically, we have a, a setup where it's 16 by 20 frames, and we have 70 frames in the gallery, so that's our max number. And then what the teachers do is they submit five to six different pieces, and then a variety of art teachers come in as blind judges, and then they do what they call a rubric, a scoring system. And so any piece that gets a four automatically gets into the show. And then if there's still room, I come out and then I select from the remainder of the threes. And then that's how we put together the show. Their, their parents and students and teachers really like to see their artwork in a formal gallery setting where you have the frames, you have the lighting. And then at the reception, um, this last reception, we had over 200 people turned out for it. So it was a big, big show. Feedback, they're just very proud is very proud and then we actually get people from the community they come in the general public comes in and every once in a while we get people asking you know are these for sale can they buy it from the artist and all that so it gets great great response i was thinking of like um a star and then that gave me an idea of doing like different um like birds like that fly because it's like in the sky so um yeah i put some birds and like they were flying in like circles i was imagining like um different animals and i thought a bird would look nice okay so um my dad was um um he loved it and he bought me some ice cream and um yeah about my picture i start to think about the flowers what the flower that i saw every morning every day i drew them and then thought about putting different colors on them putting lighter colors and beautiful colors that will match them my family haven't saw it but my, i showed it to my friends when i was done drawing it. This, my friends said they loved it and it was beautiful colors. I love coloring it. I, I love coloring since second grade or third grade. After seeing my sister's drawing, I started liking it. Then I started drawing my best. After drawing it a lot of times, I started doing good. I started to draw it good. They were very excited. Um, you know, it makes them feel really special to be chosen um, because really it was only those two students in the entire school. And so I made it a point to let them know that, you know, their works were chosen. I believe that um, their art experience helps them develop a lot of um, critical thinking skills and problem solving skills. And um, they really have to you know, use a different part of their brain to come up with a solution, which, um, you know, doesn't happen in a linear format. So I think it's really good for their overall development. Well, that's it for now. Join us again as we continue to bring you the latest visual and performing arts news from Pinellas County Schools. I'm Jonathan Ogle, and we'll see you next time.